Yes, I would. Um, people are struggling here in Oregon, and uh, we just heard that many of us uh, are concerned about jobs. I think actually all of us are concerned about jobs uh, in our economy, and in particular in Central Oregon, uh, where I hail from, we've been hit particularly hard by the recession. Our unemployment still hovers around 15 percent. Interestingly, tourism and hos uh, the hospitality industry are vital to the Oregon economy, um, and this is also particularly true in my hometown of Bend. In fact, there are over 9,000 restaurants in the state of Oregon that employ about 109,000 people. Uh, I'm approximating, but I understand that somewhere between 15 and 20,000 of those workers will be impacted by this bill that we will hopefully pass today. Um, HB 2240 directly benefits many of these local workers in food service industries. These are folks who earn the minimum wage, which is $8.50 this year. But in addition to that, they often earn over $10 per hour. So it's minimum wage is $8.50 per hour. Uh, in addition to that, they can earn often over $10 per hour in tips. Waiving the meal period allows them to continue working and collect the tips that they have already earned through their service to the uh, patrons of their establishment. Um, so they can receive the, the gratuity rather than be forced to take a meal break. While HB 2240 will not solve our economic problems, it is a step in the direction of common sense, keeping govern government regulation reasonable and effective, but not interfering with uh, the operations of business and the, the interests of employees who we're seeking to protect. This is a common sense reform. It will help to put more money in the pocketbooks of folks who genuinely need it. I urge passage of